What up, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the By Miles Design and Print Studios YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, and I know my last video I said I was gonna try and do two videos a week. We are still working on that, but obviously things happen in life. But today we're here, and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well, um, and let's get into a new video. But before we get into it, my name is Albert Miles Mejia. I'm the owner and founder of Legal Hustle Clothing, creative director of By Miles Design and Print Studios, and I'm also the creator of the Facebook group YYC Soldiers Calgary Sneaker Community. Now today's episode is all about what you need to do before investing in any of your equipment. Minus a computer, always have a computer on hand. But what you need before you invest in your printer, your vinyl, your vinyl cutter, your t-shirts and anything else in between and even before you pick up any clients, this is the number one thing that I think would help you elevate your business. Now for me it's all about design and print. And in order to be a designer or to print quality products, you want to make sure you're using quality programs. Now, the two programs I'm going to be talking about today are Photoshop and Illustrator, both by Adobe. Um, there are other programs like Affinity, but because I've never used Affinity, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but the reason why I wanted to bring this video to light is because I've seen a lot of people in a, a lot of printing and, and t-shirt groups that I'm in that will invest so much money into their equipment, whether it be their printers, their vinyls, their t-shirts, all of that kind of stuff. And the question they have is, what do I do next? What do I need? How do I get my clients? How do I do this? How do I do that? What's the next big thing that I should get for my business? Um, and for me, the reason why I think this isn't the perfect move is because if you don't know how to actually create a design yourself, then what is the purpose of it? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, it is a, a learned thing. You have to learn how to do it. But personally, this video is all about just, you know, invest in learning it first before you put your money into um, buying all the new machines and the big machines and all that kind of stuff. You got to think about everything in short term or long term. Are you in it for the short term or are you in it for the long term? Now, you might have heard me say this a lot of times in my videos. And to me, this is one of the most important things when it comes to building a brand, building a business, and even just building up yourself. Are you in it for the short term or in it for the long term? The reason for it is because when you have all this equipment, the equipment is not cheap. Regardless if you're getting it off Amazon, and you guys know what I feel about Amazon, regardless if you're buying it secondhand or if you're buying a brand new, all these machines cost money. And if you actually don't know how to create your own style and design, these machines are gonna go nowhere. You want to make sure you could also use these machines or use these programs to create your portfolios because a lot of the times is how do you get clients? Yes, word of mouth is great, but at the end of the day, if you can't show your work, especially now online, you can't get any clients and, and that's the reality of it. But, um, you know, some of the things I've also heard is uh, Photoshop is hard, Illustrator is hard, it's expensive to get these monthly memberships and you know what it is but always remember it is a tax write-off especially if you um, you know got all the paperwork done for your business remember that these things can be written off at the end of the year at the end of your fiscal year um, also the money that you put into these programs is definitely worth it now for me I pay about $42 a month for Photoshop and um, Lightroom and Illustrator. And to me, you know, it's definitely worth it. You get your weekly updates on the program. You know, you get invited to different seminars online be for being a part of the member uh, community. You also get to be part of the Adobe community where you can share your art and see other people's work. And at the same time, my favorite part is you get thousands and thousands of fonts already in uh, the Adobe programs. Um, you know, and, and a lot of the stuff you can use personally and you can use commercially. But before you use anything commercially, please double check um, that you're not using anything illegally. Because I know there are websites like the font and Google and all that kind of stuff where you can find fonts. Uh, but it always says, you know, if it's only for personal use or for commercial use. Now, another great thing about Photoshop and Illustrator is the freedom and the ease of designing things. A lot of questions people ask is, how do I create a logo? You know, they might be able to draw it on a piece of paper and scan it, but they don't actually know that Illustrator can actually help you um, vectorize your art. Vectorizing art is, you know, when you take, you see kind of like the background around me, everything is kind of blurry, but I'm kind of, you know, smoothed out. 
uh, with vectorizing it's kind of the same thing you can take a JPEG and zoom in on it and you see all the jaggedy pixelated edges with vectorizing art you get your smooth you know if you did a square you get your smooth lines all the way around uh, this is great when it comes to silk screening this is great for uh, vinyl cutting especially with a vinyl cutter if you guys are just cutting PNGs and JPEGs and you're always wondering like why aren't my lines straight and they're all like jaggedy all that kind of stuff a lot of the times it's just the resolution and the quality and even the vectorized art now with Photoshop a huge trend right now is bootleg t-shirts and bootleg designs no other way to do it but using you know Photoshop the best way you know you find your images you cut you erase you kind of put things together this is all done through Photoshop again both these programs are industry standard so even if you were to look into how to create a bootleg t-shirt how to create you know a logo a lot of the times what you would see on YouTube is people using these programs now in no way or shape or form is this video sponsored by Adobe but if you guys ever do see it please give me a thumbs up let me know what you thought um, but I just wanted to share some that I, I you know was crossed it crossed my mind multiple times just because of the things that I've been seeing online and people investing so much money into all these machines but actually don't even know how to use the simplest programs to help them create um, their business uh, so thank you guys again for checking out this video I will have more on this topic written in a blog in the future so please make sure to check out my website bymilesdesignandprintstudios.com make sure to follow me on Instagram at Instagram dot com slash by dot miles facebook dot com facebook dot com slash by miles it's been a while guys and on twitter twitter dot com slash by miles you guys have been patient with me and i just want to thank you for checking out these videos giving me a thumbs up leaving me some comments please 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 if there's anything you guys want to talk about or want to know more about Hit me up in my DMs, send me an email, shoot me a comment. I'll always reply to it as soon as I can. Until the next video, I hope this kind of informed you guys a little bit. I'm kind of rusty at making these videos, but until again, thank you guys for checking out the video. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.